It's a stunner of a fall day, the kind that takes your breath away when the morning fog lingers on the leaves until an October breeze says it's time to unveil the mountains of color framing Sugar Hill. This little town, famous for fields of lupin signaling summer's arrival, now welcomes the autumn season into the spotlight. The traditional way to get the day started here, pop into Polly's Pancake Parlor. The wait for a table at this Sugar Hill sweet spot can reach two hours. We're going to Polly's. How was it, everyone? Oh, my, it's wonderful. We're ready for a stack. I think we better do blueberry and apple cinnamon. Short name. Now time to cook up the magic. This is apple cinnamon. So it's Granny Smith apples blended up with cinnamon. The servers griddle their own orders. Declan See, says we also have to try the gingerbread walnut. It's one of our popular ones. It's got molasses, ginger, and cinnamon in it. I would bust tables as a five-year-old. I'm part of the family. I'm the third generation. My grandmother was Polly. Now Kathy carries on Polly's tradition. Full stack of pancakes for you here. You're welcome to top your pancakes with an unlimited supply of maple spread, still made here on the land that was once a maple sugar farm, or all the New Hampshire maple syrup your heart desires. And that's what keeps customers coming back from near. We drove up here from Concord just for lunch. And far. What do you think about people coming from all over the world? Oh, I am honored by it, I really am. It's really an honor to us. It's, it's nice to know that we are a tradition so, for so many families. I live here, so that view that's out there, I see every day, every night, I never take it for granted. That view draws tourists to every bench in town. So you come all the way from Maine to for this view of Sugar Hill? Exactly. Behold the fall migration of the foliage photographer on a quest to capture a snapshot of the season. Time to stop by the center of town, the Carolina Crapo Memorial Building, to get the lay of the land. Hello, how Hi, are you? you? How are you? Lissa, the town clerk and tax collector, shows us around. This is the Sugar Hill map room. How many people live in Sugar Hill? Around 600. Is it true you're the newest incorporated town in New Hampshire? It is. 1962, we succeeded from Lisbon, New Hampshire. I've been here for um, 53 years or so, and it's just got better. The library is under the same roof. We have the largest collection of kids' books in Grafton County, and I'm not exaggerating. It starts here and it goes all the way down there. Wow. So is the police department. Just next door, the Sugar Hill Historical Museum, where fans come to see the Betty Davis display. The actress moved to Sugar Hill as a Hollywood escape. She stayed here for about 10 years. Kitty, the museum director, shows us the room decorated like one of the grand hotels that used to dot Sugar Hill. Back in the day, this was a resort town. Yes. I came up here to play golf or tennis and sit on the porch and knit before air conditioning. It's neat to keep the Sugar Hill history alive. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Nowadays, there are a few inns with fabulous views to welcome guests. Some come to visit and never leave, like 95-year-old Richard Bielefield. I keep telling people, we don't throw anything away in Sugar Hill. We give it to the museum, and it's here. The selectman is proud to call Sugar Hill home. The more I looked around and the more I came up, the more I felt that this is a place I could live. Everything's just a hop, skip, and a jump away. The Sugar Hill Post Office, zip code 03586, along with artists on sunshiny days for some outdoor shopping. Around the corner, the Sugar Hill Fire Department. I get, get to uh, look at that beautiful view every day, but it changes every day. And there's, there's days I'm coming home on a day like today, and I just stop and look and just in awe, because it's always just a little bit different. After leaf peeping half the day away, you can find your afternoon snack inside Harmon's Cheese and Country Store. 
Well, this was a country store in the 1920s. My mom worked for the Harmons when they were alive. I worked for them when I was in high school. I grew up here. I'm a descendant of the first settler. Brenda Aldrich and her family now own the store, where customers come in search of one savory favorite. Harmon's cheddar. Harmon's really aged cheddar. Really aged cheddar. Well, it's two years minimum. Mm -hmm. Love it. Love it. It's the best. It flies out the door and by mail order from Sugar Hill across the country. And so we've just carried on, carried on as Mr. Harmon would have liked. The landmark locations are picture-perfect destinations like St. Matthew's Chapel with its iconic yellow door. And the yellow is so good. But Sugar Hill is also a place where you can take the road less traveled. On Lover's Lane, get lost under the canopy. Coffin Pond comes with a majestic mountain backdrop, a secluded oasis you just might have all to yourself. And then Lafayette and Franconia Ridge. At the end of the day, Richard takes us to the Sunset Hill Overlook. Right. Oh, there's Mount Washington. Right the edge, yeah. It just may be the sweetest spot in Sugar Hill. I couldn't think of a better place to live.